All right, y'all, on today's video, we are doing a virtual tour of my current neighborhood, which is central Minneapolis, AKA downtown Minneapolis. Let's do it. How's it going y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch and this YouTube channel is devoted to two things. One of which is teaching people the ins and outs of buying and selling and investing in real estate in the Twin Cities. The other of which is sharing this amazing place that I live, the Twin Cities of Minnesota. Today's video is a virtual tour of central Minneapolis, AKA downtown Minneapolis and the surrounding areas. Currently I am in East downtown in front of Gold Medal Park, named after Gold Medal Flower. And before we get into this, I wanna say, like in every video, thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, and let's go. The geographic boundaries of the central neighborhood are to the north is the Mississippi River, to the east is 35W, to the south and west is I-94, with a few exceptions basically being the Stephen Square neighborhood that is actually just south of 94 and the westernmost boundary there is Lindale Avenue. Okay, so first things first about central Minneapolis. First of all, there is like a ward of Minneapolis called Central, and it's in South Minneapolis, just east of 35W. But technically, the bigger neighborhoods, that's like a ward, which is like a sub-neighborhood, right, of a bigger neighborhood. I believe it's a sub-neighborhood of Powderhorn. And Central is the greater neighborhood, specifically, that encompasses six different neighborhoods, which are Downtown East, Downtown West, North Loop, Loring Park, Stevens Square, and Elliott Park. As you can see, I am standing in front of the US Bank Stadium. There's a light rail right here. And so technically right now, I am in downtown east, home of the US Bank Stadium. Downtown west is just right there. Basically any of the high rise buildings are gonna be down there. It's the central business district. North Loop is all the way on the northwestern edge of downtown. I did a video comparing North Loop and Uptown. Check that out if you haven't yet. Central neighborhood of Minneapolis is also home to the most uh, Fortune 500 companies uh, and the biggest employers in the state. US Bank is headquartered here. Target is headquartered here. XL Energy is headquartered here. Thriving Financial, Ameriprise Financial. And I believe there are a few other like probably private equity firms or something like that. Financial district type stuff. You know, financial companies that maybe you've never heard of, but are very powerful, apparently. I've been living in downtown East now for coming up on two months and I'm really enjoying it. Like the name implies, it is super, super central to everything. And as the person who does real estate and drives all over the place, that is a very, very nice thing to have. I would also say that Downtown East is probably currently one of the fastest growing sub neighborhoods in central Minneapolis. North Loop was probably the most recently quickly growing neighborhood, but that's getting to the point where it's very well established already. As you can see behind me is the Viking ship, you know, sports. All right, if you watch my video about the pros and cons of living in the Twin Cities, you know that if you're gonna be a Minnesota sports fan, you gotta be ready for some heartache. That's all it is, but it's fun nonetheless. All right, let's go for a ride, shall we?
now I'm basically at Hennepin Avenue and 2nd, which is just a block away from Washington and Hennepin. So I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of these neighborhoods. And now behind me is basically the bridge to go to Northeast. And you know, I'm gonna guess that the pros and cons are fairly obvious. Big pro, obviously. It's called Central. The middle of everything in literal and figurative way. It's like where all the action is. And if you have to travel around the city for your work or whatever, it is a really great spot because it's Central. Also another pro would be that many of the largest employers in the Twin Cities are based right here in downtown Minneapolis. So if you live here and work there, that's super convenient. Which brings me to another pro which is that it's extremely convenient. It's probably the most walkable, bikeable neighborhood in the entire Twin Cities. And there are really beautiful outdoor park spaces and where you can ride your bike, take a walk, walk your dog, whatever, go for a run. This is probably the most accommodating neighborhood in the Twin Cities for those things. I don't know if you recognize it, but this spot specifically was in my North Loop versus Uptown video. Basically, Hennepin Avenue is right here, and this road behind me is second. And lastly, I'm gonna say the last positive, the last pro of downtown or central is that many of the best restaurants and bars and shops of that sort exist within this downtown or central area. All right, so what are some cons? There's definitely cons. It's downtown, it's the business district. It is noisy. There's a lot of hustle and bustle. Some people hate that, some people love it. Personally, I don't know, it's a little bit of a mix of the two. I like the action, I like the hustle and bustle, but it is nice to have a peaceful home to retreat to at the end of the day. This is the Federal Reserve in uh, Minneapolis, crazy. Uh, so another con is basically, uh, it's not exactly known for its great, great schools. I. Honestly, when I was looking it up, I was like, are there schools? Are there public schools in downtown? There are, <laughs> there are a few. They're not rated that high on the likes of niche or greatschools.org. So if that's the biggest priority, then maybe downtown isn't exactly the place for you. And one thing to go along with the noise is that there's always construction going on here. I don't know if you can see these folks. There's just always construction. There's always buses and there's trains and constant noise but you know either you like it or you don't i like it it's a great downtown area i keep telling people that minneapolis is goldilocks it is a goldilocks zone for the entire country not too big not too small not too expensive but still plenty of stuff happening it is mama bear mama bear i don't remember how that works all right and the next con is basically that there is a lot of traffic, you know, it's where all the stuff is, right? So if you can live here and work here, then you don't really have to deal with the traffic. But if you live here and work in a suburb or something, then you're definitely gonna be dealing with traffic. But I guess in that regard, at least you're kind of going the opposite way for commutes and that kind of thing. But yeah, there's, there's always traffic. Friday, Saturday nights, there's always traffic. You know, sporting events, there's always traffic both both vehicle and pedestrian. What are you gonna do? And lastly, this is actually a pretty good example. There are no single family houses basically anywhere in downtown. Actually, that's not totally true. <laughs> a couple blocks from where I live, there is this one single family home that is like this sweet old commercial building that's been turned into this beautiful house. And technically it's a single family home, but it's like two and a half million dollars and like utterly one of a kind. So don't expect to be able to find that here. If you want a three bed, two bath with a white picket fence in the yard, downtown is not the place for you. But if you want a condo with a view or an industrial loft or even one of these sort of townhome styles that just walk out right onto a city street, then downtown definitely is the place for you. And just as a note, as a tip, if you're looking for the converted warehouse style, North Loop is gonna be the place for you. If you want a new built place in a new growing area, Downtown East is a great spot. If you wanna be steps away from skyscrapers and the biggest employers, Downtown West is where it's at. If you wanna be a little bit removed from it all, um, and maybe you could find a single family house here, Loring Park or Stephen Square would be 
pretty good options for you as far as that goes. All right, sound good? I just did a loop around the block. Okay, my friends, right now I'm in Loring Park, which is on the south west edge of the central neighborhood. It is contiguous basically with the uptown area, the Calhoun, Lake of the Isles area, and it is a great place with really historical apartment buildings and condos and the likes. Loring Park is a beautiful park. It's also the neighborhood. I'm in the park right now, and the park here is uh, basically the center of the Pride Festival every year here in Minneapolis which is super fun. And, but I really, one thing that I would thought of, another sort of con of basically the entirety of Central, and I thought of it when I pulled up here <laughs> to Loring Park, is that parking is not always readily available. And if it is, it's pay parking. Basically, 100% for sure, parking in Central, you're paying for it, or you're not, and you're risking a ticket. I don't know if you can see this right back there. The Basilica. There's a Basilica block party, uh, I think once a year. It's super cool, beautiful architecture. And like the rest of Central, Loring Park has a lot going for it, specifically the cool old architecture and the beautiful outdoor spaces and proximity to everything. So now if you are watching this video and you're thinking, hey, that looks like a place I could live. Well, first of all, it is, it's a great place. Again, Goldilocks zone. Minneapolis is amazing, and if you're thinking about moving here, do me a favor, hit me up. I promise I will take the best care of you. And any way you need to get a hold of me, call, text, DM me on Instagram, DM me on Facebook, leave me a message on my website. Any way that you can do it, write me a letter, and I'll do my best to get it. But really, I look forward to meeting you. I look forward to showing you around. I've had the absolute pleasure of helping five people in the last two weeks who specifically are moving here from out of state and it is so much fun to drive people around show them around and ultimately help them find a home thank you again for watching don't forget to subscribe okay love you bye-bye